In this video, I'm going to show you how to download, install, and use external apps as free plugins right here in Logic Pro for iPad. Let's go. So Logic Pro ships with a bunch of great stock plugins. You've got everything from amps and pedals to dynamics to EQ to filters, the works. But there's more to it than that because you can actually download separate apps from the App Store and then install them here into Logic Pro and use those apps as additional processing effects. It's super cool and really easy to do. Step one is to find an app to install. Now, I'm going to give you an app here which is called Wider by Infected Mushroom. So if you type in Wider and Infected and tap on this one, download that app and then you're going to be able to use it directly within Logic Pro. This is a stereo widener app it's free and it's fabulous. Once you've downloaded an app, what I suggest you do is close Logic Pro and reopen it. This isn't essential, but it can help just in case the app doesn't show up in your list of apps. Now, if I want to add it to this guitar track, here's what we do. We select the track, we go down the bottom here to the plugins section, scroll all the way over to the right, and you can see we have this option here, audio effects. If we tap on that one, it's going to give us a list of all the effects we can add. Our recently used ones are up the top there we've got all the logic pro apps there uh, plugins that we can use and we've got audio units and these are categorized by the actual creator of the apps which isn't super handy but if you know for instance that you want to use say a Clevgrand app you can tap on that one there's all my very cool Clevgrand apps now some of these apps are paid apps and some are free if you're looking for a bunch of cool free ones head to the website that I've got linked down below studiolivetoday.com slash free au there's a heap of cool free ones that are going to get you started to add this one if we know it's by infected mushroom we can come down to here and tap right there on infected mushroom and then tap on wider and it's going to add that wider app here to our chain of plugins now to adjust the settings for this app all we need to do is double tap and it brings up the full interface and this is the cool thing about AUV3 or audio unit version 3 plugins is you get the full interface of the app right here in your Logic Pro window so we can add some stereo width to this guitar let's solo it and see what this plugin does <laughs> How cool is that instant stereo width here using wider? To jump out of there, we just tap on the button there. Now, we can add as many plugins as you like. Logic Pro has a lot of capability for this. You can also use these within GarageBand for iPad and iPhone if you're a GarageBand user. If you want to add another one, we tap on the audio effects here. Let's say this time we want to scroll down here and grab an audio app from Baby Audio. And let's just throw the magic dice on here. This one's a bit of fun and also completely free. Again, if we double tap this one this is a cool app you just hit the dice button and it gives you a random effect on here it's actually fun to see what it will do and then you can control right here from the the front of the interface how much of that is actually mixed in here by turning your mix knob up or down which is cool we can continue adding apps in here if we wanted to add some paid apps uh, maybe something cool from Clevgrand that I mentioned before one of the apps that I like is the Espresso which is a DS app if you got a bit of a lisp like me Espresso so it's worth checking out it's quite affordable and a really cool app and you can see there you get the full interface of all of these apps right here within logic pro just like our stock plugins we can edit these so we can tap on the edit button here and remove some of these if we want to we can reorder them by just tapping and dragging and changing them and we can even view them in our mixer and you can add and change your plugins here in the mixer by going into the mixer setting there and adjusting your plugins just like you do for your stock plugins so there you go and quick and easy way to instantly increase the amount of plugins that you have to use here in Logic Pro for iPad. Just look for AUV3 or audio unit apps in the App Store, download them, install them, and you'll be good to go. If you're new to Logic Pro for iPad or you just need a refresher on some of the features, check out the videos linked down in the description and happy creating.